Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. If you're to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. Tell your friend to come down. Falcons football with your boy. Also, all right, you guys at Atlanta Falcons Nation right now, all right, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm trying to get to 2K before the season begins. But let's get straight to this news, man. Uh, Arthur Blank seems to be very excited about Dean P's hire. Uh, quote, they'll be rushing when they get off the freaking bus. And the Falcons absolutely need that. And when you look at me, man, you already know uh, myself, Just K Styles, Jew Talk Sports, um, your boy Magnus, uh, Rich. We've all, Twisted T, we've all been talking about the Falcons defense has to be absolutely um, chaotic, all right? Uh, your boy Magnus always said, create chaos. That's what the Falcons need at this point. And this is something, when you look at Deion Jones, Foyer Olakun, uh, Michael Walker, Dante Fowler Jr., Grady Jarrett, these guys are absolutely, you know, they're built for speed. So if you have a team that has speed and you're having issues covering uh, uh, or getting to the quarterback, you got to use your athletes. And this is something that Dean Pease is going to bring to the Atlanta Falcons when you look at, you know, his time with the Patriots. He had a very good blitzing scheme. You look at his time in Tennessee, had a very good uh, blitzing defense. So when it all comes down to it, Dean Pease knows how to apply pressure and how to use his players to the best of their ability. So I am absolutely looking forward to Dean Pease and his Falcons defense being able to rush from different types of uh, places. You're going to see uh, blitzes from corners. You're going to see it from safety. You're going to see it from, uh, you're going to see different types of zone blitzes where you're going to see defensive ends in the, you know, in the passing lane. Um, Jacob Tatui Mariner, like a lot of these guys are just going to be able to do what they do best and be athletes and to just be smart. Be smart, play smart, pay fast. This is what the Falcons, so I love the Dean Pye, uh, DP's higher as well. Also, Tori McElhaney noted that Brian Brandon Copeland uh, was working with the outside linebackers in individual drills. Um, I've had him listed in um, all of my projections, but this move, um, you know, it, it makes sense considering the quote unquote lack of depth. And this is something that we've always said. I've always stated that when you look at the Falcons, um, defense. Um, I know a lot of people are looking at the Falcons to go out and get a guy like Justin Houston, but when you got guys like Brandon Copeland, and you got guys like you know Michael Walker that a lot of people are not paying enough attention to. Michael Walker bulked up to about 240, 245, right? So he's bulked up. You got Deion Jones, he's bulked up. A lot of these guys are bulked up so they can, you know, play closer to the line, um, you know, get after the quarterback and just use their speed and their athleticism. This is what the Falcons are going to be. So when they talk about, man, um, Brandon Copeland being an outside linebacker, um, you look at him, he is one of his strengths is attacking the line and getting after the quarterback if i'm not mistaken he about four or five sacks last year so the guy can definitely do that um so this is no surprise to me um also um this is from tori McElhaney. also marlon davidson looks good uh physically do not know uh if he's toned up on um, this all season but he looks like he's putting in some work and that's something that you know we've always said that grady jerry needs help and the perfect guy, in my opinion, to give him that help, to spell him in times of need is Marlon Davidson. We know Marlon Davidson is a guy that absolutely has to um, step up and he has the tools to be able to be that three tech, to, you know, that three tech to not only play alongside Grady Jarrett and pass in situations, but, you know, spell him in that three tech position to, you know, um, the, you know, to get the best out of a Grady Jarrett. Um, you know, and later on in the games and, and crunch, uh, cr clutch situations. So Marlon Davidson is definitely going to have to, you know, move up. But also when you talk about Caleb McGeary, I don't want to put, this is quote from Arthur Smith, and I don't want to put a time on, on it, but I think he could be, uh, he could be uh, sooner rather than later. We're just being smart here. Caleb knows we have high expectations for Caleb to come in and compete for at right tackle. It's been crystal clear, and he he's in good frame of mind. All right, so my opinion with the Caleb McGarry, you know, being on the pub list and Philly's um, 
physically unable to perform list. Um, it's just, uh, you know, for me, I think it's just a, um, you know, a precaution. All right? I think it's just they're being cautious about him. He's had issues with his heart and whatnot. Um, so, look, I think he's going to play well. I think he's going to be fine. But at the same time, you know, Falcons just got to be smart about, you know, their players. Even if the players, you know, in their first, second, fifth year, you know, all the way to 10th year, this is what you have to do. Protect your players. And I have, full, you know, complete uh, confidence in um, Caleb McGarry being able, you know, to, you know, bounce back from this. But even if he does, you got a guy like Jay, um, you got a guy like Jaden Mayfield who's going to step up in that right tackle position. You know, if Caleb McGarry is not the guy for the future, we still have a guy in Jalen May, Matt, uh, Jalen Matthews, but Jalen Mayfield who can come in and spell him and, you know, potentially, you know, be that right tackle for the future. So, we never know what's going to happen. So when it all comes down to it, man, um, you know, this is the quote that really, really gets me and gets me fired up. And you're talking about Grady Jarrett. All right. And this is a direct punch in the gut to his former coach, Dan Quinn. It's a D is it's it's deeper than the message. It's about putting the product on the field, putting in the work made it clear that we are not going to be a team about slogans and all this whatever it may be the toughest dude is going to play there ain't no fluff grady freaking jet and this is the stuff that we're talking about all this slogan and all this crap and you know you know what i'll come down to it man the falcons just need to get rid of you know all that that what it was with um, Dan Quinn and Dan Quinn, you know, he talked a big game, but his defense has never lived up to the hype. All right. These guys weren't tough. They weren't mentally strong. These guys folded at every opportunity in every situation when you needed the most none bigger than the Super Bowl. So when it all come down to it, man, Grady Jerry is sick of the bull crap. I'm sick of the bull crap. We need these guys to be tough. We need to get these guys to stop all the, oh, we brotherhood and there's a team of brothers and we together. Look, I want to see it on the field. I want to see guys enthusiastic. I, I want to see these guys, you know, yelling, screaming, excited, you know, upset, even upset on the, on the sidelines. I just want to see something different beside the same nice boy mentality. I need to see it. So when it all comes down to it, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is an absolute um, great step in the right direction. We're going to have a tough physical football team, the accountability, and the best man will win. So let me know what you guys think about that. Leave your comments below. Yeah, boy, man. Mike is hot, man. Peace.